Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Jovenal Narcisse and for today I'm going to have a video review on my White's Mule Packer Pointed 2 which I bought last uh, June, ordered it on June of this year and uh, it was delivered to me last August here in Metro Manila. So this is a Mule Packer Boots which I had last, uh, I ordered from Baker's Boots last June, taking advantage of the 20% discount on this, uh, any of the boots from Baker's. So I selected these particular boots because I like the, the structure, I like the color, I like the pointed tool, and uh, I like uh, the, 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 the looks of these uh, boots. Uh, cowboy heels and uh, in general the whole the whole boots looks like a cowboy boots so those are the factors why I selected this uh, kind of boots and of course this is one of the cheapest boots in the catalog of uh, whites and uh, it has been uh, my experience to order my boots from bakers to support those small uh, companies who are making boots in the United States. So to describe these boots, this is a 10 inches shaft and uh, it is uh, 270, 270 Goodyear welted. It sits down and uh, the stitches are very nice. And of course, the two is uh, very pointed. I think this is the uh, uh, most pointed uh, two that you can have on boots, just like the Kubui boots that uh, I see on Instagram. So you have a rolled top end, you have a pull-up loop. It comes with a Taslan lace. It comes with a kilty or false tongue and uh, the leather stick, okay? The, uh, <coughs> The tongue is uh, gasseted, so it is uh, <clears throat> connected with the eyelets all the way to the top. So basically, if you are wading in waters or crossing river or uh, streams, water cannot get inside. And uh, for sure, you are being protected with the gasseted tongue of the boots. So maybe those are the uh, most important factors why I consider these boots as my working boots. <clears throat> Another thing that is uh, nice about this is this is my first time to have a uh, V V bar sole or Vibram 700 sole. So you have a very thick uh, sole. Um, you have the uh, welt, Goodyear welt, you have the main sole, and of course the outsole of the V-Bar, Vibram 700 or V-Bar sole of Vibram. So basically that's it, and uh, if you ask me about my experience with this, this is my, I have, uh, I'm still trying to break in this pair of boots. I think I've used it uh, for three times already. For each time that I use, I spend three to four hours uh, working in my backyard, cleaning and uh, watering my plants. So first, it was not uh, comfortable because it was my first time to experience this kind of, you know, arch. I think this is their 50-50 arch. And uh, for a guy who is uh, used to wearing red wing boots, this is a uh, great adjustment and a very challenging to use this kind of boots. And of course, the, uh, the heel, the heel portion is very hard, very thick, and uh, you could not easily bend the, uh, the sport part. And this is the thing that uh, bothers me for the first time that I use these boots. But slowly, I'm trying to break in these boots as uh, as long as I use them almost every day. However, it will take time, I think. As compared with my Red Wing uh, Iron Ranger, I think uh, it will take more time for me to to break in these boots, most especially the uh, heel portion. Okay, uh, I could see already some creases here on the ankle portion. This is uh, normally the uh, first first part of the shoes which uh, shows some creases and some rolling and the other side 
plus of course the toe portion you have some creases already and folding developing and uh, on the other side you have some scratches already uh, on the leather but uh, it's okay this is part of the patina of the said shoes so yeah so it will take time for me to break in this uh, kind of shoes and uh, of course in almost all the boots that I'm using they are heavy but uh, well and they're they're nice you will be accustomed to be using this kind of boots if you use them every day in your work and your daily activities so that's it for this uh, video thank you for watching and watch for more reviews on heritage boots in the next videos to come thank you and have a good day bye